What's up, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve, and this is Tech Teardown. Today, I'm going to be going over the new ray tracing benchmark from the guys at Crytek. They developed the Cry Engine that we're we were able to enjoy games like Crisis and Far Cry from those developers. And also using the help from the developers that did Hunt Showdown, uh, they created a benchmark for ray tracing on the Cry Engine, and it is open to AMD and NVIDIA cards alike. Now, according to WCCF Tech's website, the minimum system requirements for this benchmark are a Vega 56 or a GTX 1070. I do have the 1070 right here, but the only AMD graphics card I have in my office at all is an R9 380X. So we're gonna go ahead and see if those are the actual minimum system requirements. Actually, right now you're seeing this benchmark being ran on the R9 380X. This is at 1080p, very high ray tracing settings. And uh, we're getting about 30 FPS. However, the 1% lows are quite terrible. As you can see, it's about 25 to 30 milliseconds on the uh, response time here, or 1% uh, lows, I should say. Now I was able to get the R9 380X over 60 FPS, uh, but that was by lowering the render or the resolution down to 900p. Also gets quite a good uh, boost in performance if you go down to 720p on this R9 380X. So I'm gonna go over some of the different resolutions here that I have tested with the R9 380X. 720p, 900p, and 1080p. 1080p, it is uh, pretty terrible like this, but anything 900p and below, very playable and, uh, or at least watchable in this case, since it is just a benchmark. But it is looking good for the AMD side. Looking at the WCCF article that they had on this uh, benchmark, they did show that the 5700 XT was just as good as the RTX 2060 Founders Edition with the 5700 XT edging it out in 1440p, but however, they were tied at 1080p. And I will leave links to that WCCF Tech article in the description if you want to check out all the different graphics cards they tested from Vega 56 on up. And again, we're going to have the R9 380X on the test bench. I'll go over the different resolutions and what type of FPS you can expect on this new ray tracing demo. Then we're going to compare those results to the GTX 1070 and the 2080 Ti. All right, so looking at the benchmark, we're gonna start off at 720p, very high settings, and we're looking at average FPS of 72.4 frames per second at 720p with this R9 380X with 1% lows of 26.1 FPS. Then we would go up to 900p, and our average frame rate on the R9 380X was 41.7 frames per second with 1% lows of 19.7. Now we're gonna look at 1080p Ultra, which had an average frame rate of 23.1 and a 1% low of 9.4. And then with the 1080p very high ray tracing settings, we had 31.2. So when AMD said a while ago that they could run, they would be able to run ray tracing on their graphics cards, they weren't lying. However, I don't know how well this would translate to something on the Battlefield 5 engine or Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, especially since uh, AMD graphics cards aren't the greatest on things like Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Battlefield, since those are definitely more geared towards NVIDIA graphics cards. But they were definitely not lying when they said that their graphics cards would be able to handle ray tracing. Uh, so this is definitely interesting data. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the GTX 1070 at 1080p ultra ray tracing. And that had an average frame rate of 72 FPS and a 1% lows of 51.9. All right, now moving on to the 2080 Ti, uh, we are looking at 1080p ultra. The average frames per second we have are 134.1 with 1% lows of 98.4. And then we look at my native resolution that I like to run at is 1440p ultra settings, 87.3 FPS with 1% lows of 59.6. All right, so that is it for all the benchmarks. But as you can see, the R9 380X can hold its own as long as you can tinker with some of the lower resolutions and you can get this to run on the very high ray tracing settings. This is, again, the Neon Noir ray tracing demo from Crytek on their Cry Engine. Now, you do have to download the Cry Engine game launcher and add this demo to your library in order to be able to test this demo. 
but I'd love to see if anyone out there has an R9 Fury or any of the other graphics cards. One thing that WCCF Tech didn't test that I would have loved to see is the Radeon 7 and see how that stacked up in this. So if you are one of those users that has a Radeon 7 or an R9 Fury, I would love to know how those cards are performing on this benchmark. All right, so that is it for today's content. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We are almost at that 1,000 subscriber mark. That is my goal for the end of this year. We've been doing this since January of 2019. So I'd love to hit the 1,000 mark before the end of the year, December 31st. So if you wanna help us out, you wanna see more content from us, please consider subscribing. I thank you in advance. And if you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked it, that's fine. Just let me know what I did down in the comments that you didn't like, and I'll try to fix it in the future. And again, also comments are definitely appreciated. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.